right, good evening guys from Ayutthaya. Tonight, or this evening, we're gonna check out a, uh, a night market right here near Wat Mahahat. So this is a little night market that goes on every evening from two until eight. And they call it Talat uh, something, but it's, uh, it's the market right next to the, uh, the telephone office. It's really creative. So it's just right over here near uh, Wat Mahahat, probably about 50 meters or so away from the entrance to that. And it's a cool little market, and we're gonna walk around and see what is in here. So it has kind of a main road that goes here. And right over there is Wat Mahahat and uh, Wat Buriram, the kind of two of the main temples here on the island. And it's just a stone throw away, and then you come in and you go right into this uh, market. And check it out, there is a lot of activity going on. And it'll have all the normal Thai food, all the snacks. And it is Ayutthaya, so you will see roti sai mai and all of that. So we're gonna check out and see if there's anything cool, grab a little bite to eat. Because in Thailand, all roads lead to food. Because food is such a part of, uh, of their culture. Oh, this is kind of cool. He's got the little rice cakes and he's actually putting the, the little syrup on top of it. So he just does it. He has like a little wooden ladle and he just puts it right on there. Aloy mai? Ah, oh, good. <laughs> so it's a type of rice cake eaten as a dessert in Thailand. Kanom nang let is what it says. We got the bugs here. We got crickets, grasshoppers, no worms, the normal stuff. And so we got these ladies here that are buying them a bag. And they throw that black uh, spray stuff on it. I don't know if it's like soy sauce or what, but it's a really strong smell when they do it. But the bugs I pass on. I've never uh, done the bugs, not interested in it. But the Thais love them. And here we have the, uh, that white fish. And this is uh, 200 baht. So what they do is they cook up this white fish. They, uh, they gut it, they stick the herbs right in its mouth. And then they grill it just like he's doing in the back right over there. So they grill it and they put like a sea salt on the outside of it. And then you, uh, you eat it with a little bit of the chili and it looks like you get a little salad with it. And it's quite nice, this is a good fish. They just, they eat the whole thing. They peel the skin back and then they just eat the white flesh and they eat half of it. Then they pull the bones out and then they eat the other half. And one of the favorite parts of the fish is the, uh, the eyeballs and the little meat right in the back of the head. The, the Thais just absolutely love that. Oh, we got some nice sweet corn. We got some grilled shrimp and the little sausages and the fish balls. He's, yeah, so right here is the hot oil and he's grilling up those little uh, sausages. And they're a huge favorite, so uh, Thais love these little sausages. Now, this little market's got quite a bit of stuff, so I'm, uh, you can smell all the good food, so this is pretty nice. And it's a great way to come spend an evening over here after you've been walking around at the temples and uh, get whatever snacks you want and you can experiment as much as you want. Some little uh, beef jerky type things and some of the shredded, like the, the little shredded pork, the little floss. And then the, uh, the little sausages. And the normal Thai fare over here, a little bit of the, the curry and some of the other stuff. So here we got some of the fish. And it's like 20, 25, 30 baht for these, 35 for the big fish, 110 for this one right here. So they deep fry these fish and then you just eat them. And then he's over here, he's making some of these little snacks. And these are the, the little snack right here. It's kind of like a, like a jelly stuff with a little bit of coconut. And you can see how he makes it. He puts the little coconut on the inside and then he puts them on the, uh, on the plate. And he just throws some more of the syrup on little dab of coconut and then he presses it okay so this guy's actually making like a german or a, not a german but a japanese dessert kakoyaki so he's putting like a little bit of uh it's like crab meat in there it's kind of like a kanom croat and then it's uh, they make it it turns into like the little ball like this and then they throw some syrup and stuff on it but the japanese food is so popular in thailand that you even find it in uh this night markets now. Okay, so here we got a lady that's making up some somtam, and there's a, quite a line over here for the somtam. You can't come to Thailand without it. And it's the papaya salad. So they just toss everything right into this uh, little stone thing, and then they beat it with this little mallet. They toss in the chilies, they toss in the crab meat, the papaya, all of that. And then she just beats it. There's some lime going in, tomatoes, and they just dice it up. 
and the other lady's making some right next to her. And for the ties, they'll throw in, you know, eight or nine chilies. So it'll, it'll scorch you to death. So what I do is I always tell them uh, just like one chili and that's plenty enough for uh, spice. But it's a nice contrast with the, uh, the lime and the chili. But I don't get the, the crab, I don't like that. They, uh, they call it the nambla. And they put the crab and the fish sauce in it. So she'll beat it up like that. And Som Tom is like the, like the signature dish in Thailand. And so she's all done over there, so she's sacking it up. And these ladies are gonna have uh, some nice dinner tonight. It looks like uh, 50, 50 baht and up for the uh, Som Tom, 40, 50 baht. And here's what she made. And you, uh, when you get your sometime, you get a little bit of whatever's left from the person before you. So there you okay, go. So we have some kanom croat here. So this is like a, like a little coconut pancake, and you can see how it, it's made. It's like a little half thing, and then they put coconut, they put uh, onion, corn. You can see she's got some corn and some uh, green onion right there. And this is one of my favorite snacks. I love this. But when you first take it out of the thing, it's just like lava hot but it is absolutely delicious. It's one of the, the best desserts. But it's called Kanom Croat, and you can get it for uh, 25 baht for uh, one of these little boxes, which is a pretty good deal. So they make it a little different. They just pour all this, uh, they pour it all there and they make it into a big, uh, like one big giant pancake, and then she trims it up with uh, scissors. Most of the time they just put it like in each individual one and then they flip it over and cook it that way. But uh, yeah, you can get it with pumpkin, taro, onion, all this stuff. So what's the beauty about this is these are just like little mobile kitchens. So right here she's making some goy tot, which is like the oyster omelet. And then uh, has all the stuff right there, has the whole kitchen, and then you have tables over there. So you just order what you want here, go sit down, and uh, you can even like, somebody will come by that you can order a drink from. It's, uh, it's great. Over here she's making some pad thai which is also another like staple of Thai food. Kai Giao, Pad Thai, Goi Tat, Som Tam, those are all the normal that everybody knows about. So she'll make it there and then you can, uh, you can order it. The little girl over there, she's eating some of that she's already made. Me, I'm not a big fan of the tofu, so I try not to uh, eat too much of that. Yeah, this is a very, very big market. It goes between like the main roads from that Wat Maha Hat all the way down to the next road. So if you can't find any Thai food to eat in this market, then you're not trying hard enough. So in Thailand, they eat all of the animal. It's kind of like probably what we did in the, in the West 100 years ago. This is part of uh, the cow, this is beef. So they make it into like a Tom Young soup. That's what she's doing back there. And then over here, right next to it, we have just tons of the Thai curries. And if you like spicy, this is right up your alley. You can just see it just oozing the chilies right there. And then you have uh, some fish. And this over here I think is like, uh, like the squid. And then that looks like some pork with some of the vegetable. Seafood is such a staple in Thailand. You got some more of those white fish. And then these are the weirdest fish. I see them all over the place. You can see how their neck is bent down. And then they have some more over there. So you can get these fish for like 60 baht for the small ones, 120 baht, up to 200 baht for the big white fish. And then you can get it with the little salad right there. So here they're making some of the deep fried fish balls. You can see the paste and they make them into little balls and then they toss them in the oil. And then they, uh, they end up putting them in a little sack with some uh, chili and eat it with a straw. Now right here next to it, this is all like the little snails. So she's dug the snails out and it has a nice curry right next to it. And you eat it, you got the, uh, like this is coconut here, and this is uh, part of the bamboo. And uh, they mix it all up, and she has over here has the, the nice curry. Mm, and you can smell it, smells really, really nice. And here they're selling part of the, uh, the pig. All the parts, you can see those are like the ears and everything. I think that's the tongue, looks like it to me. Uh, it's a hard pass on that. And since it's a market in Thailand, you have all the fresh vegetables also. So people can come here, buy the green beans, the onions, the cabbage, and the big nice carrots, cucumbers, everything, and they take these home. And then uh, 
What spoils you in Thailand is the fresh pineapple. So sepalot is the pineapple and they have it right here. So it's like a 45 baht for a pretty big size bag. So like $1.50 for that. And then you have the watermelon. Usually the watermelon is about 20 baht for that piece. So here he's making up the, like, the little rice and coconut desserts that has like the red bean, all of that. And then right next to it, we have some sushi. So they got some sushi made up here with like the little octopuses, has the salmon, all the normal stuff. And of course, you know, it's out here in, in the sun in Thailand, but they eat it so fast that it's gone before it can go bad. And then fried chicken, all the, the stuff. This is one of my favorites right here, this yellow rice with the chicken. It always has a nice flavor. Here this lady's making up some bua loy. It's made from like the flour and the coconut milk. And you can see what she's tossing all in there. Looks like it even has like a little egg in this one. There's the coconut milk, and that's just like the pure like sugary sweetness. And you can get a little bag of that for 25 baht, which is a little bit less than $1. Okay, so we ran out of the food and now we're into like a little section of clothes. Thais can't go anywhere, anywhere without shopping for clothes. Every night market will have women's clothing and children's clothing hanging up. You don't ever see too much of the men's clothing, except for like some uh, cheap t-shirts and shorts. Over here are some kids' clothes. Have some grilled squid right here that she's making up. They grill it and then you can get it with the uh, little chili right there. So it's like 25 baht for the smaller ones and they have some bigger ones that she sold out of for 30. Okay, so I think we're gonna get one of these coconut shakes. So you can get them for 30 baht. So it puts in the, uh, the sugar sweet, toss everything in there. You can see that 30 baht, so a dollar for uh, the big cup. So throw the ice in there with the coconut and the milk. Give it a little bit of a blend. Now you can get with other things with like the, uh, the rice and everything else. That little uh, processed rice, you can put that in there. You can see after she blends it. This is a great little snack. It has like the little coconut bits in it. And you just drink it on a straw and like a nice hot evening like tonight, it's absolutely heaven. Right, so here's the finished product has a little bit of the fresh coconut right on the top. So $1 for this big cup right here, it's about 20 ounces or so. So we'll enjoy. You can look around some more, drink this and find something to eat. So here you have the dragon fruit and back over there is, uh, what is that, the cantaloupe? And fresh pineapple, watermelon, all the normal type fruit. Okay, so we've made it all the way down to the end of the market. So right here at the end, they have some tables set up and they're doing like the little hot pot buffet and it's uh, very common. So the Thais will meet up here and they'll all eat together and we have big, huge groups. Okay, so this looks like uh, what's for dinner here tonight. So this is a cook to order. So I'm just gonna get some, uh, the normal stuff, some uh, fried rice with some chicken and uh, see how it tastes. It's like 60 baht, so like $2. And then they have a couple more of those little kitchens. Over there they have the, like the muscle. All right, so that was a nice little uh, dinner. Had some uh, chicken fried rice and then uh, suki tele. But uh, anyway, we're going to keep walking through this uh, little market and then uh, find maybe a snack or two and then call it quits. This is a great little market. This is a lot of fun. There's so much to see and uh, it just stretches all along here. And uh, like I said before, this is a market that happens every night. So you can come here in the afternoon, you know, two to three o'clock or so. And uh, it's open till about eight o'clock and it's a great break. So if you're out here uh, looking at the ruins and you're riding the bike around and stuff, then uh, you know, stop here in the evening when the sun goes down and uh, kind of recharge the batteries, get something cold to drink and uh, find some food. And then uh, you can explore the rest of Ayutthaya that night. These are kind of a nice little snack here. So it makes kind of like a little thin pancake. He grills it up back there, and you can get these for uh, 30 baht for a small bag, or 30 baht, or 50 baht for a big bag. <laughs> the boy back there. And then uh, we got some fruit. We got like mangoes, all that. 
Now the Thais will put chili on uh, their mangoes. So they have like sugar and chili that they'll dip the mangoes in. And here they have like uh, the Sam O, which is like the pomelo. And they have kiwi, strawberry, apples, they have all kinds of stuff here. Then for the, uh, the Western tongue, all these little desserts. But the Thais absolutely love donuts. You see Mr. Donut, Krispy Kreme, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, they're everywhere. Then you got some uh, Thai sausages, meat on a stick. Okay, so here she's making some pancakes. So she drew like a little chocolate uh, face on the, on the grill and then she put the, the batter on top of it. And uh, it's kind of cool. Then whenever it's done, it'll look like this. So I've never seen it made that way before. And then they have the small little pancakes also. So 10 or 15 baht, 20 for the little cup or 30 for the big cup. This is a little snack I haven't seen. It's obanyaki. So it's like a little pancake and you can get it with uh, chocolate or foie tong or the pandarin or the custard or red bean and they're calling one of the pizza so they must put like a little piece of ham in it. So I think I'll get a couple pieces of this just to try. It smells nice, it smells like a little pancake. You see how she throws like the little cream inside of it. And then she's throwing in the little chocolate. So they have chocolate and then the yellow right there is the foie tong and then this other bigger chunk of uh, kind of orange is the, uh, the custard. So one piece of this for 10 baht. If you buy 10 pieces, you get one free. So 11 pieces for three bucks. Okay, so we got two of these little snacks with the uh, custard and the foie tong for 20 baht, so about 80 cents. And we're gonna keep walking around, look a little bit more, and then we'll call it quits for the night. All right, guys, so that finishes up our little uh, walk around here at this uh, night market. It's open every night from uh, two till about eight o'clock every day and it's right here next to uh, Wat Maha Hat. So if you're uh, near that temple, Wat Maha Hat, uh, Sisam Pet, or uh, Wat Buriram, it's very close. This is a great way, come over here in the evening, get out of the heat, uh, find some Thai food, and there's something for everybody here. If you like it spicy, they have it. If you like it sweet, they have that also. So, and there's bugs and anything else if you're uh, really adventurous. So anyway guys, if you like the video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. The subscriptions really help me, they help my channel grow, and they also let you be notified whenever I post a new video. So if you like this kind of open narrative that I do, then uh, definitely you found the right place. So uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, if you, uh, if you like Thai food, what, or if there's any specific Thai food that you saw that you want to eat, let me know, I'd like to know. So anyway guys, remember from Ayutthaya, Thailand, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.